Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Which one? That scene. Scene. Yeah. Hey y'all, how y'all doing out there? Um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on um, the protesting and um, let you guys know that I won't be out there. Um, they have released extra footage to um, the family. So therefore, I have um, decided not to because um, they released it. The hotel released it. That was my main purpose of the um, protest was for them to release information for this family. So I have decided if I go up there and protest against this hotel, what would I be saying to them? So I have decided that I will no longer uh, go up there until we find some more information out about the hotel, um, if that if they had something more to do with it. But I won't protest because they are definitely, they've released what we asked them, what we've been protesting, asking them to do. They released that, and they have given that to the family, and that's all that they needed to do on my part, what I was protesting. I don't know what some of you guys was out there protesting, but I was out protesting for justice and for them to release some kind of knowledge of their baby, of, for their baby, and they did that. So therefore, I have decided to step back and I have decided to allow the family to grieve now. I have allowed the family to take part, whatever it is. I reached out to the mom, and whatever it is that the next step she would like for me to do, I'll do. But at this time, y'all, um, I won't be up at the hotel uh, to protest. Um, yeah, exactly. They did do a pro. I mean, they did offer to pay for a funeral arrangements, like I said, and I and that's all to the thanks of everybody who came out yesterday and showed up man that was one thing hey cuz one thing that i can say our people showed up yesterday it was beautiful y'all showed up and y'all showed out and guess what by the time we left they was talking about releasing these videos to this family so we actually made them release these video y'all and i thank y'all for even coming up there every day and being a part with this family but i no longer can step back uh uh step uh, in front of this hotel now that uh, they did release this video to this family so I have decided thank you auntie I have decided no longer to go up there but if you guys are feeling any kind of way then by all means you go but just my per preference I was protesting for them to release more footage for this family and they did that so they did that and i'm i'm satisfied with that y'all i'm until the family reach out and and let us know that hey they still don't feel like that's right then i'll go back out there and i'll protest but right now i feel that they released the videos and they did what they said uh, um i mean i guess they didn't see that i ain't seen no videos but i'm gonna just go by what everyone is saying hey how you doing uh, I'm going to go by where everyone else is, is feeling. Uh, Andrew and the uh, uh, other young guy, Jamal, these guys, they said they seen the video. Um, I mean, man, all I can do is trust what they say and trust how they feel about it. But I will not be at the hotel no more. Uh, not just yet. Until we get more information about until we get more information about um, that it was some suspicious things going on with that. Uh, but at this moment, I will not be at the hotel to protest. Um, they they did. I mean, and, and to all people who, who was fault and blamed in this, on behalf of people that blamed you guys, I apologize. Um, but we was all just riled up. Um, we, we was hot. We wanted answers for this young lady. So some things we kind of acted off, uh, and I'm not speaking directly about myself, but I'm speaking on behalf of us as a whole. Um, I'm not categorizing nobody, putting anybody in special order or throwing anybody under the bus or any kind of shade at them. I'm just directly saying that to all that, uh, um, Man, that people have bum rushed about this. Uh, I truly apologize for their uh, mishap and misunderstanding. We was just all trying to get justice uh, for this family. 
And again, to everybody who came out to this hotel, every day I was out there, um, every day, you know. So to y'all that came out and supported and, and looked out, uh, I truly appreciate it. And even still, if you still want to get you a shirt, I am definitely willing to give you a shirt still, still. So even if you still want a shirt, I will still make you a shirt and send it to you directly. I will send it to you through mail, no cost to you. I'm not asking for any money from you. I will send this directly to you. So if you still want a shirt, because guess what? We showed out, y'all, and we got justice. Believe it or not, whether y'all believe it or not, the pressure that we put on them and on that business, it got us some results, y'all. So everybody that was out there should feel very proud of themselves and the things that they did. Uh, because trust me, we put pressure on them, and this is what we need to continue to do when things happen in our community with our people. We need to continue to put pressure on them. Do y'all see they did not know how to respond with that many young black people in front of this business doing the right thing, y'all. They so used to us doing the wrong thing that they are not used to us doing the right thing, y'all. So. Even that, does you see how much power we have, y'all, when we are together as a unit? We can make things shake. So even just understand that even going forth in this, do not allow this to be the last time that we unite like that to bring justice to families throughout Chicago, not just to business, to hotels, not just to, uh, uh, but we need to be doing this out on the streets to these game bangers, to these uh, thugs that's killing our babies. We need to do the same thing that we did at this hotel. We need to do it on these street corners for our babies. You know what I'm saying? So do not stop. Don't stop. Uh, uh, with this one case, we need to continue. Keep pushing and keep on pushing, y'all. And as long as we continue to be uni in unity, we got so much power and we make things happen as dope like this. You see the next morning after that powerful movement, the next morning, what happens? They release the footage to this family. Y'all hear me? It was amazing last night. I wish that Whoever wasn't there, I wish y'all could have been there and just felt the energy of these young, powerful black people letting their voices be heard, y'all. I'm telling you, it was amazing. And I thank all of you guys who, who have took the time out to come out and support the protests. Uh, right now, what we're doing is... Um, uh, stepping back, I will, my foundation, we're just going to step back and we're going to allow uh, uh, the rest of the investigation to go on. All I wanted was for them to release more footage to the family so she can have an understanding. And they did that, y'all, and I'm thankful for that. They did that, and I'm satisfied. If y'all not satisfied with that, then, hey, continue to protest and continue to go up there. But I'm satisfied because guess what? We got them to release more information about this case, y'all. And I just really thank y'all, and I appreciate all y'all that support uh, Our Will Foundation and the things that I'm doing with our young people. I appreciate it. And if you guys get a chance, go by and like Our Will Foundation Facebook page and see the great things that we're doing with our young people in the community, seeing the great mentorships that we're giving our young people, seeing the great genuine love that we're showing our young people. So please, y'all, continue to support and uplift each other, y'all, because at the end of the day, we have to understand we is all we got. We all we got. So now, if at all, they have released them videos, let's allow this family to grieve in peace and allow them to go head on and whatever necessary steps that needs to go after that, then we will come to that point when it comes. But right now, I feel that us protesting, we got what we need. Uh, they released the video. So the next step is to see what's going to happen with this opto um, autopsy report. Um, so once we see that and everything, if everything come back and we got to do more uh, searching, well, we'll let them do more searching. But as of now, they released the information, y'all. And I, again, thanks so much. It's called I Will Foundation. Uh, I-W-I-L-L, -L, one word, uh, foundation. 
Um, and you will see I'm sitting there with a couple of young guys on our Father's Day out, I mean on our uh, Man's Day out. But you are, you guys have been helpful to me in spreading the word and getting awareness for justice for uh, this young lady. And thank y'all, man. Y'all have really, really blessed my soul. And I appreciate it so much uh, to all the people that came out and supported me and came long ways and just really been there. And I thank y'all and I look forward. Please, y'all, please listen to me when I say this. I have so many resources for our young people. So please stay in tune. And if you feel that your child need a mentor, please reach out to me. We take them on trips. We have great days. We're about to go to, uh, I got tickets to the White Sox, y'all. So I'm about to take 20 young people out to the White Sox game so we can enjoy. And I'm going to supply dinner as well, y'all. So listen, stay tuned to the things that I'm doing for our young people, and I'm trying to keep them uplifted in our community and just make sure that they good, y'all. And if, with y'all support, I can continue to do these things and continue to uplift our people. Uh, I'm taking all ages, Mia. It don't matter your age. If you want to sign up to go, it don't even matter. We want to get this whole group together. We're going to have dinner together. Uh, okay, that's cool. You can come, Shekinah. Yeah, yeah. It's actually September 28th, y'all. Keep that day in mind. Uh, and if you want me to keep your name in mind to go to this game, inbox me names of how many people. Uh... Okay, Mia. Yeah, reach out to me, Mia. I can. I, I guarantee you I can help them out. Okay, cool. I, I'll be waiting for that. And anybody that want to go to the game and want to assure your seat, you or your child's seat, because the thing is, is to build a relationship with not only the child, but the parent as well. So we want to build a relationship with you as well to see how we can help the parents as well. So even if the parents want to come out too and, could, and, and build a relationship with some positive people, Come on, you can bring, come on out, y'all. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have some dinner. And we might even go out for some ice cream after the game, y'all, if, if time permits. So, listen, stay tuned. Follow me on, uh, follow my page on, on, on Facebook. And stay tuned with the different things that we have. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing before I get out of here. We need some fashion models. I'm throwing a big fashion show for our teens. It's going to be downtown, black and white tie event. We're going to have our teens doing a fashion show and live performances, y'all. And live performances. We're going yeah, I've been, man, listen, I've been trying to partner with whoever I can partner with. So if y'all got any kind of connects where I can partner with some people, please send them my way. I don't mind collaborating and coming together to help out our young people. Um, but listen, this fashion show is going to be so big and epic. It's not only going to be a fashion show, it's going to be a fashion show slash award ceremony. We're going to award people that are doing great things in the Chicagoland area. And we're going to have a fashion show, live entertainment, y'all. We're going to have a live entertainment, not only live entertainment, we're going to have uh, uh, the clothes are going to be free. Uh, so the, the models are going to be able, I'm going to have hairstylists there, makeup artists. Anybody that know makeup artists, that know hairstylists, that want to come and be a part of this, please inbox me. Inbox me if you want to do something with the youth. Uh, if you do hair or do makeup, please inbox me and let me know if you want to be part of this great event that we're about to have. It's going to be a black and white tie event, and we are going to have at least about 25 to 30, uh, thir 25 to 30 people, 25 to 30 models, teenagers, between the ages of 6 all the way up to 19. We're going to have them, y'all. But... Again, thank y'all all for supporting the protest. I feel that our voices was heard because they released the tape. So again, thank y'all all, and God bless y'all. Be safe out here in Chicago, and continue to uplift your brother. Continue to uplift your brother. Thank y'all, and have a beautiful and blessed evening. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Oh, 
And if you got a, if you guys in the Chicago land area and you feel that your school need these resources that I have, mentorship, anti-bullying, uh, uh, journalism, theater and drama class after school, if you feel that y'all need these resources at your school, feel free to reach out to me on behalf of those two because I go up to the school and I meet with them uh, uh, to make sure that we can get these resources inside of your school. Again, thank y'all, and God bless, and let's pray that Chicago continue to uh, uh, unite as one, as one people. Uh, we continue to uplift each other. God bless. I love you all, and there's nothing that nobody on this line can do about it. I love you, and I wouldn't dare change it at all. God bless, and see you guys soon. Okay. If y'all could see me in real life right now, y'all would see. I had my hand raised like a teacher, teacher. I got something to say, teacher, teacher. Michelle Rutherford. Don't know who she is? Look her up. Google. It's free. She's a news anchor in Chicago. It says right here, September the 15th, 2017. This was the news conference. I shouldn't have to play this. Because you should remember, they said, we still ain't seen the new the footage. At this point, I'm not interested in what someone else has seen. I, I don't want to see it. Larry has been asking for it. There's nobody, I can tell you this, there's nobody more stringent on asking for, for what we need than Larry. And that's the crux of my question. It's in honey, it's honey, just, it's honey. Just Andrew. There are a lot of people wondering what happened to this young lady. It's, it's a community concern. She's a 19-year-old girl. Who is apparently found in a freezer? Like I said. So apparently, Andre, I don't know who told you they did. They didn't. Do your homework better. You got a whole organization where you collect money. Now I know whether anybody's going to admit it or not. Because I don't know who Michelle is. Okay. Not to mention, I done put out a video over a year ago. It's only gotten 448 views. Again. This is a lady actually who the attorney Larry Rogers sent the information to about the second autopsy, which is why Larry got fired because Teresa didn't want that information out there. That's a whole other ballgame. But anyway, here's here. September 15th, Michelle Rutherford. Here we go. Disturbing and horrifying story about Kanika Jenkins, and everyone wants to get to the bottom of this. Of course, her family uh, wanting to to get some real answers on what happened to Kanika Jenkins, and we got some new information that I want to just bring you right now. Because now you have to go to my channel to watch. Maybe y'all can watch it while you're waiting for my live. But she's the one that also even let us know on October the 19th that they were going to be releasing the case file on october the 20th keep up with the program people come on <laughs> 